Has the Chinese government, in your opinion, shown a track record of, of environmental sustainability? Absolutely. And this is the other thing, and those who are interested, today I have a piece in the South China Morning Post in Hong Kong, which I don't normally write in, basically saying, what, you know, is it again to the Western narrative, what can China do that the West will actually applaud? And I give some examples. And there are many examples of environmental performance that the Chinese government's done. But my God, you know, 1.2 billion people? You try managing that, and at the same time, having bought into the growth narrative of the Western economic model, having signed up to the WTO and all those cute rules, now you're supposed to de deliver environmental performance. Mm. Well, the Chinese have woken up to this fact and said, okay, we're getting all the criticism, we'll have to do something different, but we can't unwind the clock. So, you know, China on public transport, for instance, as you will know, opened up the Pandora's box of public car owner, private, public, uh, private ownership. Nightmare. 20 years they've created a nightmare. But at the same time, they're making the biggest investments around the world in public transport. That is the counter to that. But can the Chinese, can the Chinese government intervene? I hope so. And they are the only ones who will intervene. Because if they've intervened in your reproductive system before, they can intervene in your car. And my rule is rules, right? And it's only rules that will save China from the mess if it leaves it to this narrative that somehow free mm -hmm. markets, democracy, and capitalism will solve its problems. We are in uncharted waters, my friends, in the large countries. Uh, can I end by saying, but no one talks about India, because China is the bogeyman. But India is actually more polluted than China, my friends. But, and it hasn't even embarked on the level of extent of industrialization that China has. But if you're a poor Indian today, you will know how dire the conditions are. So to assume that the Chinese don't care, haven't taken a action, is to not really understand the nature and extent of the threat. Chinese companies can't do this. It will have to be the state. Andrew, you spent a lot of time